Hey there, it's Jenny from Southern Savers. It's time for our Monday night Q&A. Um, got the kids in bed. Let's push the high chair out of the way there. <laughs> um, uh, it's always fun to have you guys join me and just talk about different topics and answer lots of questions. Uh, the goal is to see, you know, whatever questions you have, but also to cover something as well. So tonight the goal is to talk about uh, how to save at the drugstores, which is a huge part of your budget, really, to me. So when people come and they're like, no, I'm, I'm not really saving as much as you say I'm going to save, the first question I'm going to ask you is, are you shopping at a drugstore? Because if you're not, then you're really missing out on some of the biggest savings that's out there. We're talking free toothpaste, free shampoo, free razors. Um, just this week, free toothpaste and free razors. So we see this all the time. The deals change. It depends on the store you want to shop at. So we want to kind of learn how the concept works. And then I would recommend we even want to just pick a favorite store and wait for the deals to come up at your store. But this is a Q&A, so you're welcome to ask any questions. So those of you that are watching on Facebook, you can leave questions in the comments. And those of you on the Google Hangout, you can enter by clicking on the plus red sign uh, in the chat area to leave any questions that you have either place. So it doesn't have to be drugstore related. You have my undivided attention, in a sense. You can ask any questions that you want. Uh, grocery, coupon, money saving, how do I save on milk? I, you know. It can be Stump Jenny for the next hour if that's what you want. So let's just jump right to it though. Free toothpaste and free razors, how do I do this? Uh, that's the basics of the drugstore game. So to start with, let's talk about the concept. My favorite store, that's Christina's first question, my favorite store is CVS. I have never hidden that at all. Um, I, the main reason is that CVS's rewards program has been around the longest. It's been around, I've been couponing for almost 11 years, and it's before me. So that's how old Extra Care Bucks is. It's the easiest of the systems, and it's also um, one where their cashiers know how it works. They're not, you're just not going to have as many quirks in CVS as you're going to end up having in other stores. So that's the difficulty with the other two. It's not that Walgreens and Rite Aid aren't as good. It's just that CVS has a lot of the quirks long ironed out to where we just don't have those difficulties. So the basics, and let's just start with a deal to help you explain it. Um, for the folks on Google Hangout side, I'm in a screen share just so that we can all see the deals um, a little bit easier. Uh, the big thing that I want, um, you to see, let's see, share it this way. Uh, let's start with our razor deal because that's our deal at CBS this week. So I mentioned we can get free toothpaste and free razors right now. Um, so just to talk about how that works, uh, the basics, I go into the store, I buy what's on sale and I get a reward for buying whatever it is that's on sale this week. Um, so, an example would be at CVS this week, they have Gillette Venus razors, buy two of them at regular price and get a $6 extra care buck. So I go into the store, regular price, let's say for easy math, the paper backed Venus razors. I don't mean the ones in the plastic containers both sides, but they do sell one that has a paper blue backing Venus razor package is around $7 in most CVS stores. Buy two of those, that would be $14, and you are gonna get a $6 reward back. So yes, you're thinking that's not free. I don't know what in the world this person's talking about, but we haven't added in the coupons yet. We have a $3 off coupon that came out in the paper a week ago. I can use two of those. I'm buying two razors. So the razors cost $14. I can use $6 worth of coupons. I'm now going to owe $8, and I'm gonna get six of that back in CVS rewards. So basically at this point, I'm paying two bucks for two razors, which is already a pretty amazing deal when it comes down to personal razors. You're paying a buck a piece, but we have another coupon. Um, because I'm always allowed to use a store coupon with a manufacturer's coupon. So a lot of folks have gone into CVS and a lot of folks have gotten a CVS store coupon uh, this past week for $4 off of a $10 purchase in razors. Well, you have to buy $14 worth for the deal. Buy two, get the reward. 
I gotta buy $14, I've met the requirement for the store coupon. So off comes the store coupon, I now owe 10. Off comes the $6 in manufacturer's coupons, I now owe four. I am still gonna get back a $6 reward. So now I made $2 to buy razors, free. They're just free razors for you. So that's the concept of how this is gonna work. And hopefully, in trying to spell that out, it makes sense. Now, for those of you on Facebook, I can't screen share that with you for you to see. What I would recommend is that you head to southernsavers.com slash CVS. And that is gonna show you all of the current deals at CVS right now. But to kind of recap, I go in, I buy two of those razors, an average price is $7 a piece in your store. Again, it's the paper-backed razors. I use two manufacturer coupons from the July 3rd paper. I use the store coupon. Total due after $10 worth of coupons is four bucks. And then I get back a $6 extra care buck. So completely free toothpaste. And the same types of deals on lots of other products too. So our toothpaste, um, for ease of math, toothpaste is free at Rite Aid this week. Um, and it's different stores, but every store does end up with free toothpaste and free whatever. So don't feel like I need to go to Rite Aid and I need to go to Walgreens and whatnot. Just wait. We'll get free toothpaste at lots of other drugstores too, so you don't have to run out right away. Um, but if I did head to Rite Aid this week, same exact kind of deal. I go into the store. I've got a 75 cent printable coupon for toothpaste. So I don't even need... Uh, and I'll stick this Rite Aid up, deal up as well for those of you on the Google Hangout. So for our Rite Aid Colgate de deal, uh, this is at southernsavers.com slash Rite Aid. Super easy to find. You'll see the whole list of all the deals. Uh, the toothpaste is on sale for $3.50. I have a 75 cent printable. Let's choose that one just for the sake of you don't have the paper. I've got a 75 cent printable coupon. I'm gonna end up paying $2.75 for the tube of toothpaste if you don't have any rewards. If you already have rewards, then you could end up paying nothing. But in this situation, let's pretend you've never ever done this before. You're gonna pay $2.75 for that toothpaste. They're gonna give you back $3 worth in rewards. So you just made 25 cents to buy toothpaste today. You're, it costs 3.50, I use a 75 cent coupon now it costs two dollars and 75 cents and i get 300 plenty points that's the name of their reward it's worth three bucks i get three dollars back um, now a lot of folks have questions with the rewards i earn these rewards like on our razor deal i earn that six dollar reward at cvs or i um i earn the three dollar reward at rite aid i can use that towards more deals that give me more rewards. Um, just so you're kind of aware, that's the goal here. I want to go in, I wanna pay that $4 that's due on my $14 left of razors, I wanna pay that $4 with a reward I had last week. So I want them to, to say, you know what, Miss Martin, you don't owe us anything, and I'll cheer. You'll always owe tax. But I wanna be really, really close to owing nothing so that I pay the tax, and then on my receipt, I get $6 back. And the next time I come in the store, I have $6 to spend towards that deal, and I get more rewards back. So the goal is to always pay with their money and then get more of their money back to buy more things. That's the fun of the drugstore game, in a sense, if we really treat it like a game. Uh, but when we first get started, that first trip into the store, I have to pay real money. I don't have $6 in rewards uh, to help pay for this reward that's gonna give me more. I have to start with real money, and then we can switch into pretend money. Um, so Al's is saying, um, at $6.99, my CVS wouldn't give the two cents. Uh, I'd have to buy three. So that particular deal this week, uh, on the razors actually doesn't have a purchase amount. So it's not a buy $15 and get a $6 extra care buck. It's really just buy two products and get the extra care buck. So you should be good on that particular one. But yes, a lot of folks are having that same issue. Uh, Jessica's commenting the same thing at CVS. Um, saying that um, the $10 extra care bucks on $30 in certain products 
would CVS used to let you get it if you spent 97% of the $30. So if you were 25 cents short or whatnot, you would still earn the reward. Uh, my question is that not the same with personalized coupons. For example, I had a $5 extra care buck when you buy $15 in Physicians Formula, but I wasn't able to use it when I purchased a $14.99 product. So I will tell kind of all of you, CVS corporate has not changed the policy officially, but every register is no longer ringing up the 97% rule, which used to be that I didn't have to spend you know, the full $30. I could be 25 cents short or 50 cents short, but that's not the case anymore. I have to spend the full $30 that's required for the deal to get the reward. If you have a store that's willing to override, if you were to kind of mention they may be willing to, but technically if you didn't buy the $30, they don't really have to override that either. But you're right, Jessica, that's kind of across the board. Um, it's not working for anybody. I even, I tried it out with the um, nail polish deal that we saw a couple weeks ago, just playing around with um, trying to stay under just a little bit because a lot of folks were emailing me and asking, but yes, it's kind of, um, it's not just hit and miss stores, it's all the stores that it's no longer working on the 97% rule. Um, but that said, Al's like you were mentioning, this razor deal isn't a total purchase. So if it tells you to just buy two bottles of Pantene, you're good. If it doesn't want you to spend $8 in Pantene, don't panic there. If it doesn't have a total purchase involved, like the razor deal that I just mentioned, just, just buy two razors, you're good. As long as you bought two of them, you've met the requirements of the deal. But if the deal is buy $30 worth of baby care, you're going to need to buy the $30. The 97% rule is no longer active, which is sad because it's been around for a really long time. Um, Christina mentions a really great point too. She says, I don't like it when they're out of stock on deals. So heads up for CVS particularly. If CVS is out of a deal, they will write you a rain check. And CVS's rain checks are good forever. So I don't really care if they're out of a deal. I will get the exact same deal the next time I come into the store. Uh, and I, there's no really, no, nothing lost on my part. I get the rain check and I can come back and get that deal in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, you know, however you want to look at it, you're not going to miss out. Um, but in terms of kind of looking for the best options that are out there, just CVS is really, really simple with their rain checks. You're not going to miss out on the free Venus uh, razors or the free toothpaste that they're running. If they only had four in the store, just go to the cash register and say, hey, I wanted the Venus razor deal and you don't have any more. Can I get a rain check? And they will write you a rain check. And also a little heads up that a lot of cashiers, um, or not cashiers, sorry, store managers, will try to substitute something else in there. They don't want you to have to get a rain check. Not as a negative, but more as customer service. They want you to leave the store with what you intended to get today in the store. And so a lot of times when you head in, um, and you said, you know, you're out of Venus razors. I wanted to get this deal, but you don't have any more. Be ready for them to say, hey, you know what? We're totally cool with you getting this product instead and still doing the deal. So if they do that, just be aware that they need to also be okay with taking your manufacturer's coupon. Say, whoa, yeah, I wanted to get this razor, but I have this coupon. So if you're going to substitute in another product, you need to be able to let me use the coupon too. Some stores will. Some stores will not. So just kind of be aware of that um, before you accept the substitution from the store manager. Um, so we do we, um, okay, and this, Alexander's question. So let's go to the next part of drugstore shopping. I buy those razors and I earn a $6 reward back on those razors. And there's another deal that I also want to get. Um, I can turn around and use that $6 right now in CVS on my next deal and do multiple transactions. So Alexandra is asking, do you save the same amount of money at CVS if you do multiple transactions versus just going in and getting all the razors and all the toothpaste and all of that and just buying it in one huge transaction uh, and then using all of those extra care bucks next week? So do I... Is, is it the equal savings to leave the store with $25 in extra care bucks and I did it all in one purchase or to leave the store with $5 in extra care bucks 
and I split it out over multiple purchases. Alexander, the math person in me wants to answer that it is always better to do multiple transactions. The reason for that is, yes, it took a little bit more time, but instead of putting a whole bunch of stuff on the counter and paying 40 bucks and getting back 25, so I'm out $15, um, which doesn't sound bad if you think about it, but really you're out 40 bucks. You spent 40 bucks and you got $25 back. I would prefer to split that up into two or three transactions and pay for the first one with what I came in the door, those extra care bucks I had from last week, pay for the second one with the extra care bucks that I got from the first one, pay for the third one with the extra, you get where I'm going here. The reason for that is that hopefully transaction number one, I owe a dollar. Transaction number two, using that extra care buck from the first one, I owe a dollar fifty. No, the goal is that we're keeping these kind of close to what we already have. So now as I'm finishing the last transaction, I may have spent five dollars. Yes, I'm not leaving the store with twenty-five dollars, but I only spent five dollars versus I spent forty. Um, the other reason for me, and if you had a whole bunch of extra care bucks, obviously you wouldn't spend the 40 and it kind of makes a bad example, but another reason to not have a whole bunch of extra care bucks is that they do expire. They expire in 30 days. So I don't want to you know, be getting $40 worth of extra care bucks and then I got to keep up with that. What if you know, the next three weeks are dead. And I look at the ad, and man, there's just nothing here that I want. And I have all these extra care bucks, but nothing that I want to spend them on. I don't really like to keep more than 10. Uh, if I've got 10 extra care bucks, that's doable. There's always, you know, my husband's Prilosec or something that we need that's not usually a freebie that I can use that on if there weren't any deals around. But I don't want to end up with 40 or even more than that and I'm struggling to find a deal. So um, just kind of you know, focus on getting the few things and splitting them into transactions. Hopefully that answers the question though uh, with a little less crazy math. Um, I'm gonna, we've got lots of questions today, so I'm gonna go back and make sure I'm not missing um, things. Uh, Rose, the $6 extra care buck, is it unadvertised? It's not, it's just a $6 extra care buck when you buy two Gillette or Venus razors. So look for that one. Uh, and it could be razors or refills, so we can grab all sorts of things, but we wanna focus on the cheapest items that are part of the deal. Um, so one thing that someone mentioned uh, on Facebook too, and I've mentioned it on past drugstore Q and A's, is that if you shop at a CVS that closes at night, it's not a 24 hour store. That's the important part, not a 24 hour store. Then if I go in on Saturday by 6 p.m., some stores are earlier. Shayla is saying hers is three. So you could find out that yours is much earlier. You just need to ask them. But by 6 p.m. on Saturday night, they have activated tomorrow's deals. So for those of you that are frustrated because you are going in and they don't have the deals, yes, you could get rain checks and you won't miss out at all. But if you didn't want to do that, you could actually go on Saturday night and you would get... Uh, all of Saturday's deals that are still running through Saturday night and all of Sunday's deals at the same time. That's uh, pretty awesome, actually. You're shopping two weeks worth of ads at the exact same time. You can't get much more efficient than that in terms of not wanting to go to multiple stores and run lots of errands. You just knocked out two whole weeks worth of shopping. Um, so that's Saturday night in a store that that closes at night. It is not a 24-hour store. So just be ready for that one. Um, and Brady's asking as well, what's the best way to accumulate extra care bucks? Um, I never seem to accumulate more than 10. So Brady, that's kind of my answer to you. I wouldn't work towards accumulating them. You're gonna find that you either, you know, can't use them because they're expiring and there's nothing that you want. You're gonna forget to use them. Life's gonna get busy. So for me, I actually try to only hold on to about 10. You're doing great if that's the case. Um, but if you want more than that, it can get tricky, but it's gonna be because you're buying big transactions and you're spending more out of pocket to earn more extra care bucks in the beginning. Um, okay, then to jump back over here, we've got questions everywhere. Um, let's see. 
Um, and April, everyone commented uh, as well, April's asking what's the easy way to find printable coupons I want without going through all the offers on printable coupon sites. Um, so a big personal tip on printable coupons, yes, everyone mentioned, and I love them for it, mentioned the Southern Savers Coupon Database. If you've never checked out the coupon database, uh, it has thousands of coupons in it, some from the Sunday paper, a lot that you can print. But another option to April is if you head to, let's go to CVS, for instance, southernsavers.com slash CVS, and you make your shopping list. Uh, from the site of what you wanted to grab at CVS on the shopping list, you can actually tell it to only show you printable coupons. So I've pulled my shopping list. The shopping list is going to tell me what to buy this week at CVS and all the coupons that are available for it. And I can hide everything except the printables. So that if that's all that you want to use or all that you want to find, it's set. Everything that you want to buy is right there and all the printables for you to use too. Um, but the, the coupon database is a great place to start if you're just looking for specific coupons um, that are out there. And there are a ton of printables, too. Um, okay. There we go. And, it, and yes, Kayla, thanks for mentioning that, too. It is also on the Stone Savers mobile app. Um, okay. And go back over here. So someone's question earlier, and i got to scroll a ways to find it, um, was how do I... Uh, how do you get out of not falling into the um, it's on sale, let me buy everything trap? And that's a scary trap to get into in drugstore land, by the way, in case you haven't started already. You're going to walk in, you're going to think, well, this is free, and this is free, and this is free, and you're not ever going to use these items. So oh, kind of word to the wise, I guess. I would encourage you to set a budget of some sort or a way to keep yourself under budget. And what I did, um, is what I did when I first got started was played a game by having a $5 CVS gift card. So I would load a CVS gift card with $5 and the goal was to see how long could I keep that gift card with just the $5 on it if all I was doing was paying the tax on each transaction. So that I was trying to keep my transactions as tight as I could and then I would pay with the gift card to pay for the 50 cents or to pay for the dollar that was over, but how long could I get $5 to last? That kept me from throwing in all sorts of things that I didn't need uh, so that I was going in and I was just grabbing the things that we would use. I was grabbing maybe the top of the freebies and that was it, um, but I wasn't grabbing anything that wasn't either dead on free or really, really close to it, just so that I could get much, much better at the game, at the system. So that might be how you start to get yourself out of that trap, is that we've set that budget, we've set that $5 cap, we want this $5 to last us, you know, multiple weeks would be the goal. So we've got to get really good at not falling into everything that's in the store, just the really, really great deals. But I would encourage you, on drugstore shopping, if it's things that you don't use, it's, you know, the free deodorant this week might be Speed Stick and my husband's choice is Old Spice or whatever it is for your family. If it's free and you have the extra care bucks and you're not gonna end up really paying anything for this, I would encourage you to still get it and have a box. So put a box in the bottom of your pantry and you come home and you're unloading groceries if you bought it and it wasn't for you, it's not something you will use, you bought it because it was free, put it in the box. And when the box is full, donate the box. But you're gonna find that all of a sudden you are donating a lot more than you really ever did before because so much is completely free or maybe cost 10 cents uh, after tax. I would still encourage you to get those items versus leaving them on the shelf. Um, okay. Um, and Lynn Marie has a good point with the rain checks at CVS. So the CVS rain check lasts forever, but what about the coupon? So you go in today and the Venus razors are going to be free, but the coupon expires at the end of the month. Uh, if they don't come back in stock or I don't come back into the store, my coupon's gone. Yes, CVS will not take your expired coupon. They will take that rain check 42 years from now, but they will not take that expired coupon. However, we see the same coupons come around. We may not see a $3 off Venus next month, but we'll see it within the next couple of months. So it might be something that you just stick in a little CVS pocket of your coupon organizer, and you just have it tucked away for the next time we see some great Venus coupons. 
or it could also be just tucked away for the next time you need a razor and you just have a deal whether you have a coupon or not. You ran out of them, it's just tucked away as being my own little razor sale. But because the rain check never expires, just hold on to it until you get a coupon again. So don't panic by losing uh, the coupon of value there. Okay. Um, I have an expired extra care buck. What can I do with it? Um, <laughs> with it, extra care bucks that have expired, CVS's store policy is that they will take them up to two weeks past their expiration date. So if you miss out on using yours, but you're still within the two week mark, you're good. Your store shouldn't give you any issues with it. That is the store official policy. So don't throw them away. If you've exceeded the two week mark, they did just change this policy within the last year and your store is probably going to be a little hard nosed on it and not want to take it. So you, it's probably lost to you. It never hurts to call customer service though and just ask because customer service, corporate customer service on the phone can reset them to be back on your card. So that could be an option for you is to at least try that before you threw them away. But if you're within the two week limit, just head into the store to use it. You won't have any issues whatsoever. Um, so Debbie's asking a great question on Facebook. I need something right now. I need body wash. Are there any good deals right now? So Debbie, if you use the Southern Savers app or you head to southernsavers.com, on the right hand side of the main site or down in the bottom of the app, you'll see a little search icon. We have an item search feature um, that's in both places and you can type in body wash and it's gonna show you every deal on body wash right now in your area so that you can decide what is the best deal because we all have products that we love or we don't use. Uh, so I could give you a long list of body wash deals right now but you may not actually care about any of them. So use the item search feature look at all the body wash options, and then head out to the store that you wanted to. And then you'll also be able to see right from the item search feature any coupons that are available for that body wash so that you could get those together too. That's a great way to save specifically on one product. Um, okay, so let's talk CVS store coupons for a minute. There are a number of questions about store coupons. Um, Beverly on the Google Hangouts asking, if I use a percent off email store coupon, manufacturer's coupons and a money off coupon. So she's got a ton. Um, and I have a $3 off 15. Does the order I hand them to the cashier matter? Yes, it does. Um, however, I have found almost every time that I try to hand it to them in a certain order, one of those CVS store coupons will end up voiding the other one. Um, so you really just need to have a CVS cashier who fully understands what's happening. And this is just kind of a register quirk right now as they're trying to change the way that it's handling coupons. But what's going to end up happening, before I would have told you that you wanted to use the 3 off 15 first, uh, but the, it's going to want you to use your manufacturer's coupons, your percent off coupon, uh, and then your three off 15. It's gonna want that three off 15 to be last. If the cashier enters the three off 15 last, or enters it first, then when she enters the percent off coupon, it will void the three off 15. Uh, and I don't know why, it's just how it's running. So percent off manufacturers, percent off three off 15. It's gonna work best. Um, but you now nine times out of 10, it's still gonna end up voiding something. They'll catch it, they're really good at that and they'll go back through and kind of replay around with them and enter them. Um, but the computer does have a very specific way. Um, okay, Sean asked a question on Facebook. I got a message saying I earned $5 reward because of medication refills. How do I receive that? Um, so Sean, the next time that you head into CVS, if you, when you're checking out, it will print on your receipt, or if you don't wanna wait until your receipt, I wouldn't want to wait till my receipt. I want it before I buy something. Head to the coupon center in CVS. It's the big red machine that's right near the front door as you come in. You can scan your CVS card at it or enter your phone number at the coupon center and it will print out coupons for today, but it will also print out that $5 extra care buck for you. So you can get it before you shop if you go to the coupon center. Another way for you to get it without having to stop by the coupon center is if you download CVS's app, they've put all of their coupons that will print for you on their app. 
and I can just click a button to send them to my card. Um, when I send them to my card, they're ready for me to use the next time I check out. So I don't need the paper version of the extra care buck. Um, I've really just sent it to my card. It's there. My card knows it's there. And then when I buy something the next time, they'll say, hey, you have a $5 extra care buck. Do you want to use it? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Um, but that's the, the easiest way to deal with it. So coupon center, the app, or when you check out, it'll be on your receipt. But they're not going to let you miss it. You will get the $5, I promise. Um, so if you've never started, that's Lisa's question on this hangout. I've never couponed before. Where, where, what is the first thing I should do to start? Um, hands down, it's to kind of start to get a, a grasp on a few things that you use, and let's try to tackle those few items. Um, so Lisa, maybe for you, it's actually that you kind of go grocery side first if we're like brand spanking new. And you say, okay, I'm going to go into the grocery store and I'm going to buy the things that are on sale this week. And you may not have any coupons for those sale items, but I'm going to grab what's on sale. Next week, I'm going to do kind of the same thing. And I'm going to start from scratch on the basics of all of that. I push you back to the grocery store and out of the drugstore because folks that are brand new, drugstores can be really overwhelming. You're going to go in, you know, even those of you who are listening and you're like, yes, I'm going to get my free razors at CVS. Half of you are going to walk into CVS tomorrow. You're going to put razors on the counter and be like, I don't know. Some lady on Facebook, she told me that these were going to be free. That is not how easy it's going to be. You're going to put them on the counter. You're going to give them a lot of coupons. Uh, and it, it is going to end up being free. But in a sense, your knees are going to be knocking the whole time, kind of wondering if I am just making all of this up. Um, so the drugstores are kind of a scary place for a brand new, you have never couponed before a person. Not saying you can't do it, but I would encourage you to focus on groceries too before you put a bunch of energy into the drugstore world. Let's kind of get stronger, I guess, in couponing. Build a little couponing backbone uh, before you start diving in to drugstore deals. Um, so I never seem to get the good coupons at the CVS Coupon Center. Why? Um, so Paul is asking specifically, I mentioned earlier the $4 off store coupon that that is what helps make those razors free this week at CVS. If you're not getting those coupons, it's tricky. They are geared towards specific shoppers. So it's geared based on what you've been shopping in the past or you know whatever it is that they think you want. Uh, if you're not getting really great coupons, there are a couple of options, Paula. One in the past that has worked really, really well for folks is to become a new CVS shopper. So head in, get a new CVS card, do not link it to your old account, start to use it, um, sign up for the emails with it, you know, become basically a brand new shopper for them. It takes a couple of weeks, but that new card will have a lot of new coupons on it. They want to encourage you to spend more time in CVS. Now, we had a lull last summer with almost no store coupons, and thankfully they haven't done that this summer. Um, but even during the lull, the new card thing didn't help anybody. Nobody had coupons. But I am hearing from folks that it is helping them now. So if that's where you wanted to go, you could definitely try it and see if that would kind of trigger it so that you could get all of the new great offers without kind of missing out on some of the deals. Um, okay. To kind of, let's make sure I'm not missing anything. I think we're caught up. Um, are there things that you have to use the red machine in the store for? Like something, some coupons that you can't get on the app. So Haley, yes. Um, there are a couple of offers that will end up being store only in a sense. And those are usually always in the weekly ad. So if CVS puts in the weekly ad that they are going to print, they'll even put the image of the coupon center in the ad but they put the image of that coupon center in and it says, you know, printing a 40 cent coupon off of two liter sodas. I have to, I have to stop by the coupon center to get that coupon most weeks. It's not in the app. If I want to get the two liter, that's then going to end up being like 50 cents. That's usually what the goal is. It's not a free two liter, but it's a super cheap two liter. Um, that coupon. So if they've advertised it as being a coupon center coupon, but it's usually only that one. And those of us like myself that have signed up for being paperless, which is what you can choose in the app, 
That means all my extra care bucks are saved in the app. All my coupons are saved in the app. I don't ever get them on my receipt anymore. Once you go paperless, if I try to use the coupon center, I get that one once a week coupon, but the rest of my receipt from the coupon center will say, you've gone paperless. Open up your app, basically, is what it's telling me and saying, we're not gonna print anything else for you. Um, but that's it, so it's just usually one, maybe two, but not a lot of what's coming. I'm gonna check the app for most everything else. Um, Um, so Bridget's even talking about that since we just went to the talking about going paperless She says she went paperless and she's having a lot of problems with them The computer was using extra care bucks instead of the load to card coupons. Am I able to change back to paper? Yes, Bridget um, If you are on the CVS app and I would show you but my phone is currently being used for Facebook lives the fun of double streaming um, if I'm looking at the Facebook app and I'm on the screen where it's showing me all of my offers, down at the very bottom, it will say you've gone paperless, and there'll be the option and a little tiny link below that to change that, um, to revert back, basically. So look for that. It's the very bottom of the screen to go unpaperless. Um, and one heads up on going paperless in case, you know, me saying I've, I've done it. It does have a negative drawback, uh, and I actually didn't think about this. This was someone on a Google Hangout a few months ago when we last talked to CBS that mentioned the, the big holdup, and I really have been meaning to unclick that and go off paperless because of it. I just haven't done it. Is that if I have an expired paper coupon, I can use it up to two weeks past its expiration date. But if I go paperless and my extra care buck expires, it's gone. It doesn't hang around in the app for me. It's expired. So that's a big decision. If you choose to go paperless, you're really giving up the option of using expired store coupons and expired extra care bucks, where if I still had them on paper, I could still use them. So yes, uh, in terms of Bridget's question, there are some reasons to switch back, and you can totally do it through the app. Um, so to kind of give you the negatives of both of them. Um, they do, they expire and they're gone in the app, where if I had them on paper, they aren't gone. As long as I haven't thrown away the paper, we're good. Um, okay, I think um, we're all caught up on questions. Yes, sorry. Um, so to kind of move on, because I don't want CVS to take all of our time, we have 20 more minutes, uh, I do want to quickly talk about Rite Aid and Walgreens because they do have great programs. Um, they're just not quite as good. Um, so Rite Aid's program is almost identical to CBS. For those of you who are just kind of getting started, I mentioned Rite Aid has free toothpaste this week. So if you are joining us really late on the Facebook Live, uh, Rite Aid has free toothpaste this week, just like the free razors that we mentioned at CBS. So I go in, I buy the toothpaste, I use a coupon, I get a reward. Rite Aid's rewards are called plenty points, and I can turn around and use those plenty points to buy more things in the store, except there is one quirk at Rite Aid, and the quirk is that I cannot use them until tomorrow. So whatever I use today, I, I have to hold on to, but I can't do multiple transactions. So at CVS, I may get my free razors today, and I use that $6 extra care buck to buy super cheap shampoo or something else that we needed. Um, and right, I can't do that. I'm gonna earn whatever plenty point rewards I wanna earn today, and I'm gonna go home. Tomorrow, I could buy more, but most of us aren't going to Rite Aid every day. That would be kind of crazy. So instead, I'm gonna hold on to them. Plenty points at Rite Aid don't expire for two years, if not longer, uh, you're gonna be fine. You will be back in Rite Aid and be able to use them before they're gone, but I'm probably not coming back tomorrow. So I'm gonna get whatever deals I wanna get this week in one transaction. It is gonna cost more out of pocket. I'm gonna earn those plenty points and I'm gonna have those towards next week's deals. So next week I may have $25 worth of plenty points. Maybe I end up owing nothing next week, um, but that's how the system's gonna work. Um, now, Samantha has a really great question, and that is that uh, all the rumors out are that Walgreens has bought Rite Aid. Um, how is this going to affect deals um, between all of the loyalty cards and programs? Uh, the merger is nowhere near complete. It's one that actually is going to have to require um, approval 
as you get into the monopoly sides of things that um, the government does not allow. So it's not all said and done. Um, what would happen, we would see them all become Walgreens. We would see the Walgreens register award and balance reward system come over and plenty of points fall off. Um, so you're going to end up with no Rite Aids if that's the case. Walgreens is very proud of their own brand. They're not going to keep Rite Aids around as another entity. Uh, they would merge them into their store. But it hasn't happened at this point. Um, so for now, we still have plenty of points. Don't panic. You know, keep using them. Uh, and Sarah asks a good question on Plenty Points. Yes, you can use them to pay other things. So Plenty Points is not just a Rite Aid rewards program. It works just like CVS. I earn them. I go in. I buy something. I earn a reward. I can turn around and use that with coupons. I can use it to pay for more deals. But I can also turn around and use it at other stores. I can't do that with Extra Care Bucks. But Plenty Points, I can use at Mobile and Exxon stations to pay for gas. I can use it at Macy's, I can use it at at and I can use it, I think, at Nationwide Insurance. You can earn and use Plenty Points at a lot of places. Um, so it's not just Rite Aid. Um, probably six months ago now, Rite Aid ran a whole bunch of um, pain relief items that were free. And I went in kind of to test the deal and to make sure I bought them all. It was a huge transaction. Uh, like $70 worth of pain relievers, used some coupons, got back like $80 worth of points. So we made $10, but we had to spend a lot of money to get it. Those $80 worth of points have been getting me free gas at Exxon and mobile stations for the last however many times. I don't live near one, but whenever I see one, I'm like, hey, let's get some free gas. We're still using those plenty points because um, it does cap you. You're only allowed to use $25 worth per transaction on gas. That's fine. 25 bucks of free gas is no complaint to me. So I can use them in a lot of places, not just at and um, And that is pretty fun um, to not just be stuck thinking, wow, I have all this money to Rite Aid. And I don't go to Rite Aid very often. It's nice to be able to use them other places. Um, so someone in the Google Hangout has a Walmart question. I thought they accepted competitor coupons. Um, so they do not accept competitor coupons. But they do price match. Um, well, that said, let me back up. They will take a competitor coupon, but it has to be really, really specific. It has to have a price on it. Uh, and most competitor coupons are a dollar off or $2 off. They don't say makes it $2. There's one store that has coupons that are really price changing pieces of paper. They're not a dollar off. They just make the product cost less. So Walgreens, I can use a competitor coupon from the Walgreens ad that isn't a dollar off of Visine, but instead says Visine for $2.49. It's still a coupon. I could take that into Walmart and they would take it, but nothing else. They won't take a dollar off Walgreens kind of coupon. They will price match. Uh, in some areas, heads up, we talked about this too a few weeks ago, that Walmart is phasing out price matching. In my neck of the woods, which is Columbia, South Carolina, we are in a test market and we've lost our price matching in Walmarts. There are about 500 stores across the US that are no longer price matching. So if you're in one of those markets, I cannot go in and get them to price match my ad, um, but everybody else still can. Um, and for price matching, if you are still, if that's still allowed in your area, they will price match any store within uh, a 50 mile radius, which is a pretty huge radius for adding in some extra deals. Uh, on that note, let me just jump out of drugstores and kind of explain one way that you do want to price match at um, Walmart right now. So if you have a Walmart that's still price matching, which is probably like 90%, if not 95% of the Walmarts that are price matching, it is back to school season. Uh, you may not realize that. You're thinking it is July 11th. It isn't. It is back to school season. Everybody started their back to school ads this week. Um, Staples actually started theirs last week. Everybody started theirs this week. Office Depot and Office Max have penny items. They have 25 cent items, one of which is Crayola crayons for 25 cents. If I go into Walmart, those Crayola crayons are 50 cents a box. Uh, I can go into Walmart with the Office Depot ad and get those crayons for 25 cents by price matching the Office Depot ad on the Crayola crayons. Uh, now there's a limit in Office Depot of three. There will be a limit at Walmart of three as well. They're gonna follow the same guidelines of the ad, 
but you might as well pay 25 cents a box for them versus the 50 cents a box that Walmart's already charging for the same box of crayons. You just saved half. And yes, it's a quarter, but you saved half. Uh, and it only took a second, really, to price match that ad in there. Maybe some other things that you want to price match there, too. They have uh, Sharpie markers for 25 cents uh, and a number of other items this week. Um, so to speak on the price matching, Linda mentions on Facebook that they want um, people to use the Savings Catcher app. They've always wanted people to move to Savings Catcher, and that is kind of their push um, and part of their reason, but they're actually saying that the main reason for ending price matching is that they just want to lower prices and they don't really think that it's going to be a huge impact on their business. We'll see. Um, keep in mind with Savings Catcher, for anyone who's just relying on Savings Catcher instead of price matching at the register, meat and produce are not included in Savings Catcher. And in all honesty, Savings Catcher misses a number of things. Um, so just keep an eye on it. And sadly, you're, you may end up finding the hard way that it did miss a lot of what you had wanted to get the discounts on. So for me, I would rather just not pay it up front versus using the Savings Catcher Walmart app and getting my difference back in a Walmart gift card I would have preferred to have not paid the 10 bucks in the first place versus later getting a $10 gift card. So kind of two sides of things. Um, so two people have asked now about Target's coupon policy changing. I've heard rumors, um, but I haven't heard exactly what that policy is going to be. I don't expect it to be anything um, massively different. Uh, they... I have spent a lot of money pushing cartwheel. They have um, a lot of their own store coupons. I, I don't think we're going to see um, too much. Let's see. I'm, I'm doing a quick Google search to see what I can find specifically on it that's out. Um, different rumors that kind of hit the market today, I guess. Uh, you have to remember all of this is rumors, though. Um, Okay, so the big thing is is that they're saying that the cash register, the cashier can no longer push through a coupon. Um, that's the case at a lot of stores. I haven't ever had a cashier at Target that was willing to push through a coupon. If your coupon doesn't scan, uh, they won't be able to push it through. So if your coupon, when I when they go to scan it, if it doesn't work, you won't be able to use it. That's really the the only thing um, that's out there. Um, and that they're not going to allow overage is another rumor. I don't, that's, they've never allowed overage. I have had so many Target cashiers tell me I couldn't use a coupon because it was more than the value of a product. Uh, Walmart allows overage. Um, and that's really controversial for a store to not allow overage because they actually get fully reimbursed for the full value of the, the coupon. So for them to only let you have $6 worth and they redeem it for seven, it's actually kind of coupon fraud on their part for reducing the value of the coupon. Walmart got litigated for that. Walmart allows overage. Walmart realized really quickly that they were not going to stop you from being allowed to have overage. Um, so we'll see where Target goes if that's the, the change they make. Um, uh, in terms of all the other ones, though, don't expect any massive changes uh, across the board. They will still always take a Target cartwheel, a Target store coupon, and a manufacturer's coupon together on one item. And that's the big part. That's where we're saving the most on Target deals. Uh, so don't panic with, with coupon changes. For coupons not scanning, so if, you know, they're not the only store. Public stores as well. It's in their coupon policy that they won't key it in. Buy low stores, they won't key it in. I have a lot of cashiers that will still key it in, but it is in their corporate policy to not key in a coupon. Um, with not keying in coupons, no matter where you are, what I would encourage you to do, if you have a problem with your printable coupons not scanning, it's time to try a new printer. So if you're still using a inkjet printer, it's time to move into the laser printer side of the world. And I mention this a lot. I, I should go work for Brother. But Brother makes a really cheap laser printer. It's not on sale this week, but it will be next week. So just hold tight. Uh, it will be on sale all through office supply, our school supply season. 
will be able to get this printer for as low as 55 bucks on sale. It's a black and white laser printer, so it's not color, but I don't need my coupons to be in color. I just need them to scan at the register, and laser printers print amazingly well. So uh, I don't have any issues with my coupon scanning. They're crystal clear because of the way that the ink goes on the paper versus an inkjet. So if you've got a lot of scanning issues, and that's going to be your holdup with a store not keying in your coupon if it doesn't scan, it's time to get a new printer. Um, and it is, it's super cheap, $55. I love the little printer. I could kind of move my whole computer and show you we have one in our dining room. That's how much we love this printer. It just lives underneath the little buffet next to me in the dining room. Um, I'm not afraid to hide my printer. If you come to my house, you know that I'm a couponer. This is just who I am. I have probably could have printers stored all over the place. Uh, sadly, having more printers does not mean you have more coupons. You're only allowed two per computer not per printer. So don't go and buy 10 printers. It is two per computer. Um, so uh, someone else says, I have the favorite printer, but it's not, they're not scanning. Um, Samantha, what I would do is let's check your toner. You can also play the game and like cover up the little window on your toner. But if they're not scanning, that the holdup is possibly that you're low on toner. I don't have any issues. I'm not at that specific bilo. I'm at a bilo that's uh, across the river, but very close to you, um, and and no real issues. Um, so I would I would encourage you to do that. And the toner on those brother printers, by the way, is like ten bucks on Amazon. And who knows how cheap they'll be tomorrow? Tomorrow's Amazon Prime Day. You should get super excited. Last year it was kind of a flop, but this year they seem to be kind of pushing out some better deals. So we'll see what we get. Uh, in terms of Amazon Prime Day. Tomorrow is also another fun day. I meant to stick it on my table. We have our costumes already in the other room. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, I mentioned this earlier today that tomorrow is free Chick-fil-A cow appreciation day. So you need to get your cow costume ready and head in. Um, this year it's not a free meal. So I don't want you to go in and be disappointed. It's still free food but it's just a free entree. So you can head in and you can get a, any free entree is, is usually the case. You're allowed to pick anything on the menu, but it's not a combo like it used to be. So you won't get the drink and the fries, but you will get the free entree. So whatever you want off of the menu. Um, I would even recommend when it comes to kids, they don't have to get a kid's item. So if you want your kids to get a full sandwich, they could do that too, even your, your you know, I have 11 year olds that are kind of in that, that quasi period. They can get the sandwich. They aren't forced into a kid's meal. Everybody dress up and enjoy Cow Appreciation Day. It's one day of the year, so this is your moment. Um, but super cheap Chick-fil-A tomorrow only. Um, let's see, I wanna make sure we didn't miss anything else. Um, Overage, I think folks am answered your question, um, April, but Overage, just for anyone that has the same question um, on Facebook side, I mentioned if we went into a store and um, that some some stores are kind of doing away with overage, but the way that um, this is gonna work is I go into the store, it costs $4, but I have a $5 off coupon. I'm actually gonna make a dollar to buy that. I have a dollar off more than the product even costs. Um, so in terms of that, um, I want to grab those items. So someone was asking earlier, you know, how do we fall into the trap of not buying things or buying things we don't need just because they're free? If they are going to pay you a dollar to buy shampoo, I don't care if you're bald. Buy the shampoo. They're paying you a dollar to buy it. Donate it. Do something with it. Uh, wash the dog with it. But they're paying you a dollar to buy the shampoo. Um, so when you see an overage deal like that and you're in a store that allows it, you should be adding it to your cart. So stores that allow overage, typically uh, Walmart and most of our grocery stores um, with Walmart, uh, they will put money back in your hands. With grocery stores, they can put money back in your hands, but I would always encourage you to buy something else. Because you going into a grocery store and that cashier putting two or three bucks back in your hand for all the groceries that you just bought, they automatically think that you have just broken all the laws known to man. It, it's just, it doesn't make sense. You probably didn't do anything wrong. You bought items that had overage, you didn't buy anything else. 
I wouldn't encourage you to be in that boat because the minute you do that, that cashier will never forget who you are. They will think that you broke all the rules and you will be pegged in their minds uh, as that person who came through my line and made me pay the money. So just buy something else. So if I'm in Publix and I buy those vitamins that make me a dollar for every single bottle that I buy, it's not a deal right now, but we do see it very regularly. I can't tell you how many bottles of magnesium I have purchased in my life. If every bottle is gonna give me a dollar off, that's a dollar off my milk and my meat and my produce. So buy other things. Don't make your total be nothing. You have other things in the grocery store that you need, I promise. Buy things that you need so that it comes off my total it is still overage, but I still owe money in the end. Even if I still owe a dollar, it is better than the, the lady making you money or putting money in your hand because they won't forget you at all. Um, and Alice is mentioning a great deal right now. There is a money maker on Duo Fusion. It's a new product made by Zantac. We've got a really high value printable coupon. If you head to the coupon database on Southern Savers and just search for Duo Fusion, You'll find all the coupons that are available, but there's a $6 off coupon, there's an Ibotta app coupon, there's a Saving Star coupon, and all three of those can be paired together on one bottle, and it only costs like eight bucks. So you're already doing great with just two of them, but then I throw in the third one, and I'm making a lot of money. Uh, maybe you don't need it. You can mail it to me. No, you don't really have to, um, but you can donate it. So whether you're gonna use it or not, that's just money back in your pocket. Uh, and some of that's actually through apps. So then the store doesn't really even know about it. The apps have nothing to do with the store. That's money after the fact. Um, so you, you do wanna kinda keep tabs on all of that. Is there a way to reset a coupons.com um, for a specific coupon? So you've printed the two that you're allowed. Can I get another one in some way? Janet, there's not a way for you to manually do that except to find another computer. So maybe I go and I beg my husband, can I borrow your computer for a second to print some more coupons or uh, a neighbor or whatever it is if I specifically need it right now. But if you keep tabs on some coupons um, that are still there for a little while towards the end of the month, um, they usually do it the first time around the 20th and then they'll do it again right before the end of the month they will reset them. So coupons.com wants to reach the budget that the manufacturer gave them. If the manufacturer said, we're gonna give out $50,000 worth of coupons, coupons.com does not wanna leave any money on the table. So they'll reset that number, usually twice, if not more often on some offers um, than others. So kind of, that's where I would start to check. Around the 20th, see if it's reset, and then definitely the last day of the month, see if it's reset before the next day. Because we always see a whole bunch of new offers on the first of the month. Um, that's kind of the route that you want to go. Um, okay, so I think we're good. We've hit most of the questions. Jill's um, sharing a kind of money maker um, that she did at Winn Dixie, which does allow it. Um, and uh, she made enough overage on a Friday night that let her get a whole free bottle of wine. So you can totally use these at a lot of stores. Um, don't panic if one store is going to get rid of it over another. Um, can we do a Q&A on apps and rebates? Yes, we can, Samantha. I've also done them in the past. So if you are curious about any topics as we get into all of this, um, you can always head to YouTube and type in Southern Savers. We have a YouTube account and tons of videos that are up on YouTube. Uh, so youtube.com slash Southern Savers or just search for Southern Savers on YouTube. And there have been a couple of videos that we've done on rebate specifically, and then individual videos on specific apps that may help you too. So um, you can watch a video just on Ibotta or just on Checkout 51, and that's gonna be a very easy way to get specific questions answered, but we can totally schedule it in for Q and A's too. Um, so in terms of, um, oh, I see, where you were saying the $3 off OxyClean. Um, so Janet, just to answer you on that one before we hang up for the night, the OxyClean coupon, I do not expect to reset. I expect it to go away very quickly. So there's a $3 off OxyClean laundry detergent that's available right now. If you head um, to the coupon database on Southern Savers, you'll be able to find it very simply. But um, high value coupons like that for any size product, which is why this coupon is so awesome, because I can use it on a little tiny bottle of OxyClean, 
head to Walgreens this week and you'll get OxyClean for 99 cents with this $3 off coupon. I can use this high value coupon. It's gonna go really, really quickly. So I'm not gonna see that reset. I'm gonna see it disappear forever. Uh, that's one that if you did want to turn around and kind of get some more, I wanna ask them now. I wanna start asking my neighbors or my friends, hey, this is my laundry detergent, can you print me more now? Now if it's kind of a boring coupon though that lasts for a long time, that one would reset. But I don't think we will see OxyClean hang around long enough to reset at all, I'm sorry. Um, okay, in terms of, I guess, uh, housekeeping, next Monday night, Q&A, we don't have any breaks for a while. So every Monday night, same time, 8.30, um, we'll run for an hour and answer all the questions that we can possibly think of. Uh, and you can throw more at me too. I don't know what the topic's gonna be, but um, living on the edge, sometimes I make them up on Friday afternoon. Um, but we will be here, so join me. Um, same time, same place, next Monday night. I hope you guys got a lot of questions answered. If you're just joining in on Facebook Live, very last minute, you can go to uh, the Southern Savers Facebook page and re-watch this whole thing from the start or our YouTube page. It'll be in both places. So you guys have a great night.